just real quick, I just want to show y'all the uh, garden. It's fairly warm out here today. I'm very surprised. Um, I've been avoiding <laughs> coming out here, to be all honest, because it has been cold. And Little Big Girl Farmer is actually quite ill. And so, oh, I didn't plant carrots in there. That looks like a carrot right there. Um, that was spinach. But, you know, I don't know. My sugar snap peas, y'all, are just not rocking it out. I'm so I'm so upset. There, there's one sugar snap pea, another right there, another right there. Um, the lettuce though seems to be doing okay. Um, have some little seedlings coming up in here. What is this? This is the arugula. So I have little seedlings everywhere in there. That's kind of dope. Um, the collards, right over there are still looking good we did get a frost last night and i peeped out and they were all bent over but yeah they just perk right up once it warms up a little okay so i have some okra seeds here that i forgot i don't know how i forgot this bucket of seeds i already have so the ones that i have for sale are not these <laughs> um but i left these outside forgot i don't know how they got covered up somehow and but now they're they have a mold on the outside which is natural okay um and i'm sure you can see that but what i want to do is open them up and see if the seeds are still viable see if the seeds are molded or not and then and then i'm going to check to see if they're still viable as well and i'll show you how to how i do that real real quick just give me one second okay so I have a little water in this dirty jar. Okay, so the ones that I catch in here, I'm not gonna sell, I promise you. <laughs> um, but um, I just wanna see if they'll float. If, if the seeds float, they're not viable. If they drop to the bottom, they are good. And then I'm gonna catch them using this uh, here because I'm completely unprepared. Uh, I didn't bring a bowl out. So anywho, let's pop these open and see what's going on. Okay, so this is the red burgundy okra again, and it's pretty, pretty molded. But I'm just gonna do this, let them fall in ever so slightly, and they look fun. Oh, great! Hold on, let me get as many out as I can, and then I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, so I left a few on the vine over there, and um, yeah, I'm probably going to have okra plants everywhere if the seeds don't, um, if the seeds don't uh, rot before spring gets here, which they possibly could. Well, let me get a few out and show you what they look like. They look great. These look good. Okay, so there are the okra seeds. Whoop, drop one. Um, yeah, they look really great. Let me see if I can. I know it's a little dark, but yeah, these look great. Um, so we're gonna drop them in in the water here and see if they're actually viable. <coughs> Okay, it looks like only one of the four. Let's do a few more. Mmm. Doesn't look too good. Yeah, doesn't look too good, you all. Y'all see that? So, so this may be the, even though they look pretty decent, to me, only one, only one out of two, four, six, eight, ten. No, two, two, no, there's three at the bottom. Three, I'm sorry. Hold on. There's three, and there's like eight at the top. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check those before I store them for my personal use. 
but there you have it i mean um you know the pods look pretty horrible um but the seeds may be viable still so that's a good sign and it's good to know i mean this is my first time ever doing something like this and i you know based on just a little bit of knowledge that i've learned um you know we definitely want to make sure the seeds are viable but i didn't know whether or not they would be if the pod had already molded um, and the seeds are great they don't look like they were affected by the mold on the pod um so yeah well that makes me happy i'm <laughs> i'm okay with that i'm okay with that yeah so um yeah if y'all have any other comments about this please leave them uh below and yeah um let me see what else i can i can uh show you all real quick so there are some pak choy plants and there's some parsley. Everything is looking great. There's another pak choy. That's mint back there. Yeah, I got more pak choy. I really liked pak choy. I mean, it was my first time growing it in the spring. And there are some leeks. And these are Romanesco broccoli. They look a little stunted to me. I don't know if they're going to make it. Um, there's a few good looking ones, but... You know, I feel like they should be a little bit bigger. Maybe because we have so many freezes. I don't know. Um, more pak choy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so everything looks good in this bed. Um, I did not mulch here. Actually, I did mulch. And we got a wind out of, like, I don't know where that wind came from. And blew most of the leaves out of this bed. But it's interesting because... <laughs> If you notice over there, the leaves didn't really leave. I don't understand. I don't know. So I planted Detroit uh, red beets in this pot. And honey, haven't seen a sprout until now. Wait a minute, I was gonna tell you what nothing in here. Look there. Is that a sprout? Yes, it is. Look, they're coming up. Well, shoot, I was about to, uh, honey, I was about to call it quits. I sure was. Yeah, okay, well, I might have some beets. <laughs> I just might, I just might have some beets. That's kind of cool. Yeah, because I, I was like, man, these seeds are not germinating. Um, This is my first time growing Detroit Red, so I'm excited. 